to bake out a normal map from a multi-resolution sculpt. Select the base mesh and make sure it is on the lowest base to zero in the modifier tool menu. Go into shader mode. We need to apply a texture image node to the shader so that it knows where to bake the map, size, and format. Shift plus A to create a new image node. Press new to create a new image file. Name it something delicious. It's always a good idea to create a texture at 1024 to 2048 and scale down in size after completion. That way you can always have the options for low residential maps for animation or faraway scenes. And close-ups or repurposing parts of the texture for something else with a large map. Select the color space to be raw. Change to render to cycles. The baking function is under this menu near the bottom. Select bake from multi-resolution. In object mode, select the lowest resolution mesh and press the bake. On the bottom of the screen will show you the status of your bake. The baked image will show up in the UV editor. This looks good enough. Save the file off. If you do not save the file and save the scene, the file will not be saved. It is a temporary preview until you save the actual file into a specified format. I am used to saving textures as targas because that was the game industry standard at the studios I used to work for. I believe it is a more compact file size compared to PNG. However, a side note I think Blender might prefer PNG for textures with alphas. As I have had mesh corruptions related to alphas and targa for the hair on another character. To see if your normal map. Load in a normal map node. Make sure the right map is loaded. The UV editor does not always work on visually updating the maps that is actually loaded. Turn on to a render mode to see the normal map texture at work. This color washes it out. A darker color is better to see the results and details and errors. Lower the specular to something similar to what the final result you have in mind. Take your dog for a spin around the block. See how the light falls on it from different angles. And look at the silhouette to see where it needs some tweaking. The mesh to multi-res tool is handy, but makes the mesh a little bit messy and not exactly perfect. I don't like the folds in the ears, I will have to add more geometry. The mount and lips area needs clean up. Maybe more mesh too. I don't know if I want to add an inside mouth. What do you think? Should I? What name should we give our new dog? Messy geometry in the mouth and nose. Use sculpt brush to relax the vertices. With a low poly mesh each vertice can have a lot more importance especially in high silhouette areas and parts of the mesh that may need to deform a lot such as for face shapes animation. I still have not decided if I want to make a mouth. I suck at animation, that is what is holding me back in most of my projects. Smooth and easy. There. Their sweet girl. All the boogers are clean out. Clean as a whistle. Adding more supporting geometry for this huge ears. I wonder if I will ever meet this breed of dog. They must have lighting quick hearing abilities. I wonder if this breed used to black. Since an unseen Egyptian art, they are mostly in the color of ebony. I imported the high-resolution sculpt mesh on the left to show you the comparison. This way I can use that sculpt as reference for the baked low-residential version. The high-residential mesh looks intense because it's the high-poly with the normal map applied on top of it. She is super angry. Phew, cut that node. Unlink it. Okay, now she is calm and steady. She won't bite us for now. Nice.
I like that. I always find it super satisfying to see how much texture maps can fake so much detail on such a low poly asset. Remember to cut and mirror your mesh and evs at the end to make sure it is symmetrical as the automatic mirror X mode in modeling mode is not always accurate. It dops out random vertices to make sure to keep your ego in check. Here is the final cleaned up geometry in the ears. When mirroring with modifier, select the mirror UV and you can fiddle with the merge parameters. Don't forget to merge those UVs in the middle. At the very end of modeling, it's a good practice to select the mesh and make sure all the normals are all reset and pointing outwards. Creepy Blender Trolls excel at creating weird poly issues. I'm going to be anal and make sure the all soft shading mode stays on. The multi resolution mode is applied to the mesh on the left so we can see just how dense that mesh is on level 3 in comparison. Hope this was helpful and hit that subscribe and like button. Stay real.